here, Mum. I've got the cumin seeds. Saima runs a restaurant with her mother, Nabila, in south-east London. Active and normally healthy, Saima noticed that something was wrong in March. I experienced upper back pain and um, what appeared to be a swollen gland. After weeks of tests and scans, the doctor sent her to A&E. It was stage four lung cancer. I'm young, fit, active, just your general 29-year-old. And then suddenly to be told that, you know, I had a, a disease that you think old people get. It, it, was, it was truly shocking. Lung cancer is the third most common cancer in the UK, but is rare in people aged under 40. The diagnosis shocked Saima and her partner. There was a lot of, a hell of a lot of anxiety, like serious anxiety. I'd work late, come home late and be woken up two hours later with panic attacks and, you know, panic attacks to the point of com like physical convulsions. But mum, do you remember this? When it came to talking about the diagnosis with her mother, oh Saima God. found it difficult because her mother didn't know what cancer was. I'm sad, really emotional, so I can't talk really. I had to literally break it down to her and explain to her, like, look, I have tumours in my body. I'm from a South Asian Pakistani background and um, illness is just something that's not discussed. Often we know that um, those communities don't always talk about illness. There's a cultural taboo about talking about um, um, cancer. So it's really important that we um, share, share these stories so there's a, more of an openness and people can think about, you know, actually have I had symptoms that are similar or is, there something, is this something I should go and ask my GP about? Simon's cancer is incurable, but with treatment and support from services like those offered by Macmillan, she's still able to live with the disease. And in August, she got married. I'm just taking each day as it comes, I really am. Each day is different. Here I am talking to you today, tomorrow I'm seeing my oncologist. You just, you know, have to take it day by day. Caroline Davis, BBC London News.